Okay, when you want to set up a notification template, um, it's important to remember that you don't have to start over um, all the way. You can use a template what's already there and just customize it. We will show you some brief examples and in this course we will provide you with some templates you can use to just copy paste. They are very clean templates, but we will show you the possibilities in this area. So how to get there first? Admin notification templates. That's how you get there. Most of the templates you will use will be at the search desk tab, but there are a lot of specific cases which you can use another one. We will check for the search desk one um, because that's uh, you will need that to set up the site. In this case, we want to create a notification template, what we will use in automation later on for a ticket note. So what we do, there is already a template here, but we want to copy. We are lazy uh, people, so we try to get a notification. Let's get it from the other screen. So, okay, note, edit, out of thoughts, resource, okay. We want to associate it with uh, quick notes in this case as well. This will be our default. Quick notes is in the tickets um, when you give a note directly, on but we'll get in that later. We want to associate with this event and ticket note created or edited. And um, our little trick don't tell it for, uh, don't tell it to the people around us, but we like to put this trick. Your ticket not, so that's the ticket number and the ticket title. We just leave it like that because then normally the client will create a ticket herself and they will have the title as well. You can play around with this. You can change it uh, around in a uh, way what suits you best. So what we have here um, are a lot of variables. All those variables what we have here, let's make this screen a little bit bigger. All those variables are here and we can use. So for now, we will keep it uh, simple like this. So what we will see here is that there's a ticket. It will take the uh, logo uh, by default and ticket number, ticket title is included. Contact first name, you can do it there. You can just change it, it's that easy. Ticket note, ticket description, deeds are listed by. So this is all the details for us. Um, yeah, whatever would fit for you, you can add here, but you can delete those as well. Let's say like, ah, I, I don't need this. I mostly think that the clients just want their note. Um, so you can add following a note and um, for example, by um, show resource variables, show resource first name. It's that simple. You can just add it and uh, change it around. Okay, so the sent even from uh, support, what we have here, and we save this. So now you see we created a notification template. I hope this works around and um, this will help you to create this. So now we created a template, but what are we going to do with that template? Okay, we're going to admin workflow rules and we want to create a workflow rule that even out of those results adds a note to a ticket, he doesn't do have to do anything. It will uh, directly send a uh, note to a ticket contact. So what do you do? Note edit. Engineer, you see already tested with this. So the variable what we want to have is note edit by um, auto task results. Why we choose this specific, this setting is we don't want um, the client to get a uh, notification when he sends a note. So only when we add a note as an auto resource, it will get notified. Just uh, keeps the clutter uh, nice and tidy. Okay. The conditions are we only want to send if the status is not equal to complete. Or why? Because for the um, complete, we want to send a separate uh, notification. We want to send a notification, your ticket is completed, and so on and so on. So what we have now, note edit and status not equal to complete what we want to do we want to send a notification to the ticket contact you can use any area here as well but we use a ticket contact we use the support email address you can use your alternate or any even put a custom address here if you would want to and we use the note out of the research we just uh, created it and use it well here as you can see that's it. Congratulations. You created your own 
custom workflow with a custom template. So if you are um, uh, going to a ticket and you add a note as an auto resource, it will automatically inform the ticket contact. So congratulations on this area and let's move on to the next one.